flows, initiation and conditionings. You cannot put any condition to the master before initiation. That alone can become the barrier for the process of transformation to begin and to continue. But this happened to Anand. Anand was Buddha's disciple and he was Buddha's cousin, elder, brother. Anand was crying just outside the door after Buddha entered into Mahasamadhi. The door was closed and he remained just by the door for 24 hours, crying and screaming, but they would not allow him. For these 24 hours, he was crying alone and then suddenly he became aware what he what had been the barrier why he had not been able to attain while buddha was alive what had been the barrier then he went back into the memories a 40 years long life with buddha he remained he remembered the first day when he came to Buddha for initiation, but he had one condition. And that was why he missed the whole initiation, the essence of initiation. He could not be initiated because he made a condition. And he came to Buddha and said, I have come to be your disciple. Once I become your disciple, you will be the master and I will follow whatsoever you say. I will have to obey. But right now I am your elder brother and I can order you and you will have to obey. You are not the master and I am not the disciple yet. Once I am initiated, you will be the master and I will be the disciple. Then I will not be able to say anything. So before I become a disciple, these are my three conditions. Say yes to these conditions, then initiate me. He thought he is doing a very wise thing, like anybody else guided by ignorance, because ignorance is the ornament of ego, and ego nourishes and nurtures ignorance. The conditions were not very big, but a condition is a condition. And then your surrender is not total. They were very small conditions, very loving ones. He said, one, I will always be with you. You cannot tell me to move anywhere else like other monks while i am alive i will be your shadow and you cannot order me to go somewhere give me the promise because later on i will be just a disciple and if you want order me away i will have to follow this will be a promise given to an elder brother that i will be with you you cannot tell me to move anywhere else. I will just be your shadow. I will sleep in the room where you sleep. Second, whenever I will say, meet this person, you will have to meet him. 
whatsoever your reason for not meeting you will have to agree and if i want that someone should be given your spiritual presence you will have to give it and third if i say that someone is to be initiated you cannot refuse grant me these three conditions promise me first and then initiate me i will not ask anything again because then i shall be just a disciple so when anand remembered this while he was crying outside the door of the council room after he went back into his memories he suddenly became aware that the initiation was not there because he had not been receptive he put conditions buddha had agreed he said okay and he followed the three conditions his whole life but anand missed the nearest one who was a shadow and he listened to every word that buddha had spoken because he was there day in and day out and the moment he realized this the moment he realized this his gross mistake because of that the surrender was not total he became enlightened that which could not happen with buddha happened when buddha was no more anand surrendered he surrendered completed if there is surrender even an absent master can help you even if the master is not physically available this will help you surrender is not to a person or anyone it is your inner happening if there is no surrender even an alive master who is present cannot help you so in initiation in any initiation surrender is necessary is a first requirement initiation means that when you have surrendered means you have allowed the master to enter you your body your mind your spirit but when i say your body your mind you will immediately misunderstand as normally happens he will move in you why will he move in to you to find what is your basic requirements to find a sound for you unless the master is allowed to move within you he will not be able to know what is your real path or the sound that sound is a mantra or zikr so that whenever you chant that sound you will be a different person in a different dimension master can choose a sound or a technique or any other device for you to enter your inner music and through that harmony within so each disciple who enters the process of initiation and who is in the process of surrender 
His path is different. It is a path tailor made for that person. So it is a very personal thing. The way your process of transformation happens or happened, it may not be the same with another person. Through this technique, through this device, through this sound, through this mantra, through this zikr, whatsoever is given to you, that whenever you go into that, you are able to discover your inner music and harmony within. Like for instance, let's say there is a football team. Each one has to be provided the uniform. So they go to the factory or wherever it is, a tailor. Tailor uses the same fabric and designs the, takes the measurement and prepares the outfit for everyone. What is similar is the material. What is similar is the print. But the number that is given to an individual person printed or at the back of the t-shirt is his own personal number. And the uniform will be made as a tailor made for that person alone. Nobody else can use that. The same thing happens if you are in a musical group, different persons are there. So each is using the same kind of uniform, the color, the material, the design, the name of the orchestra, but the names written at the back and the measurement will be different. That sound is just a key and a key cannot be given unless the lock is known. So I cannot give you a key unless I know your lock because a key is meaningful only when you can unlock it. That key can help you to unlock and the key will not any key will not do and everyone is like a particular lock. You need a particular key to unlock that. That is why mantras are to be kept secret. If you give your mantra to anyone else, he may experiment with it, but the key will not suit the lock. And sometimes when you force a wrong key into a lock, you can destroy the lock and you can disturb the law. You can so much disturb that even when the right key is found, it may not work. That is why mantras are to be kept or the device that master chooses for you are to be kept absolutely secret. They are not told to anyone. That is a promise you make through the initiation. The master gives you a key. It is a key only for you to unlock the lock that you are. You cannot go on distributing it for many that would be harmful to you and to that person. So remember, the key that is given to you is for you to unlock your lock and with when the lock is unlocked, you can enter the inner precincts enough for now.